On one of my walks around Hamilton, I discovered a neighborhood library. Like, what? Have you ever heard of that? Because I didn't until this moment. I'd never seen anything like it. And so I went to, towards it and read the instructions. You basically take a book, read it, and then return it. You can also add yours to the library. For my love of reading and engaging in unique setups, I was enthralled, and so I had to engage. From the setup, however, it made me think deeper. To recognize that the individuals in the community were like-minded in values and thought process. There was trust that the people would return it without policing. And I heard a stirring to embody this type of setup in my life. To ensure that I actively engage and consume from individuals with like-minded thoughts, values, so as to purposefully live the life that God called me to. Furthermore, this library reminded me of a course I took, where my prof took time to express her ecstatic love for libraries for her when she goes to a new town she ensures to check the library first because the collections in the old buildings the architectures and all of this uh, tells you more about the community's values i never thought of that and so when she expounded however she pointed us to an interesting fact that in some communities, some books are banned. Are banned, rather. <laughs> Again, I had never heard of banned books. And I was like, why? Like, what? And a Google search made me realize that banned books were common in numerous communities, from famous literatures like Purple Hibiscus to even the Bible. All of them you can see on banded list in some communities. And so, again, it guided me to the thought that I need to work to ban attitudes and actions from individuals and from the surroundings that don't align with what I want in my life. So I encourage you to ban the things that don't help you. How? Do you hate dishonesty? Do you hate time wasters? Do you hate hearing swear words? With sinful actions around you, bind them. Say no. Say, I don't appreciate that. Please don't repeat that around me. Cut it off and follow that page. Ensure that you're mindfully consuming. Most people complain about social media and how it's bad and all these things, but they don't realize that in recent times, the algorithm, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram, works to show you more things of the things you watch. And so you can intentionally curate your space, the space that feeds your soul and affirms your values. I hope you ponder on these thoughts and hopefully apply something in your life. Remember to never stop curating your best life. Go outside, fresh air does wonders to you. Before I stepped out, I was like, <laughs> now I'm like, apparently also because of this book that I bumped into, but yeah, fresh air and books, so like, sometimes. <laughs>